Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, friends. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we are gonna be talking about the new Norica Omnia ZRS in 22 caliber. Now, Norica is a manufacturer out of Spain. Uh, probably about 10 or so years ago, we actually used to sell many of their guns, but they went away for a little bit, and now they are back with some very cool new designs. Probably the most intriguing is this Omnia ZRS, and what makes it so intriguing is that it is a recoilless gas piston brake barrel. Now, when I say recoilless, that means you as the user are not going to feel a single bit of recoil, no shock, no vibration, and that is because the action floats inside of a chassis. You can see it moving here. It's a very cool system uh, and some unique benefits to it that we've not really seen before out of a recoilless Springer or gas ram gun. Let's dive into the details. Now starting at the front of the gun, we have a polymer muzzle brake on a rifled steel barrel, of course, uh, and this particular one has some ribbing for your fingers there. Uh, it's just easier to grab onto. You do have a hooded front sight with a red fiber optic unit inside of it. And coming on back, you do have a fully adjustable rear sight with green fiber optics, kind of to balance that out for you on top of the breech block. Now moving back, we have a full length 11 millimeter dovetail. It's a really long dovetail. You're probably not gonna need this much space, uh, but you've got it if you need it. I've gone ahead and mounted a Mantis scope, so a relatively inexpensive scope uh, with two piece rings and there's a reason for that. This chassis system is isolated from the action itself. So there's no recoil getting to your scope like you have with most traditional brake barrels, spring guns, and even most of the recoilless guns that are out there. So you can use pretty much any scope you want to on the Omnia ZRS and you shouldn't experience any issues. Then that is an awesome benefit for this system overall. Now flipping the gun over, you got a nice flat bottom. So when you go and shoot this gun offhand, it is nice and comfortable, very easy to rest your hand on. Also is gonna feel great off of a bench bag situation there also. So a nice bench gun, good feel out of it. You do have a two stage adjustable trigger and the safety is automatic. It's gonna engage when you cock the rifle. You just flip it forward with your finger to disengage it. Nice and easy system. The grip is ambidextrous. Everything about this gun is ambidextrous. Uh, nice formed grip here. Fits the hand nicely. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but there's definitely some room here for those of you that do. Uh, and moving on back, we do have an adjustable cheek piece. Now, one thing I'll note about this adjustable cheek piece, if you want to run this gun with the open sights exclusively, take this guy off. You just remove these two screws here, the whole thing comes out, and you just pull that piece right off. So really easy system uh, and comes up quite nicely. So if you've got a higher mounted scope, it's going to be no problem for you. But a very uh, tactical look overall, which which makes the Omnia ZRS a little unique in the market space. Uh, I know to some of you it probably doesn't appeal, uh, but it's got a unique look and I will certainly give it that. But uh, I would like to see this in a wood configuration. Uh, honestly, around 47 inches, it's a long gun, uh, but you do have a relatively long barrel on this and it's around 30 pounds or so of cocking effort. Started around 35 and as the gun broke in, uh, came down to around 30. So when you cock this gun, and I'll do it here, you can actually see the whole action come forward. Uh, and that's basically setting itself. So once you have it cocked, you load at that point, I'll close it up here. You can see the safety is engaged here, uh, but the action has a slight bit of movement to it in the stock, but not much. So it's gonna be set back, but when you pull that trigger, the entire action moves rearward. Uh, so the trigger has a little bit of a weird feel to it. I, I can't really describe it to you, but there is that little bit of movement outside of what you would normally feel on a two-stage adjustable trigger like this one is. It's not a bad thing, just different. So know that going in. Now with that said, let's get the gun out to the range. Let's stretch its legs out to 45 yards and see if this recoilless system's got the goods at distance. So guys, we're gonna show you the recoil difference that you can expect between the Omnia ZRS and this Norica Dragon. Now, this is a conventional spring piston. This is obviously gas piston, but with that recoilless system. What we're gonna do is show you what that looks like at, from the shooter's perspective, and then do what we call the pellet test. So we're actually gonna put a pellet on the top turret of each of these scopes uh, and see if both of them stay upright and solid, or if they fall over when we go ahead and pull the trigger.
taking the Norica Omnia ZRS out to 45 yards, pre-testing, we tested just about everything. Uh, tons of pellets, but it came back to JSB every time. If it was between 14 grains and 21 grains, we tested it. And this thing just likes JSB 1589s and 1813s. Uh, with that in mind, though, my expectations for any brake barrel, gas piston, or spring are going to be one inch at 45 yards. If it does better than that, I'm happy. Now, with a recoilless Springer, though, I think you should be able to do a bit better than that. But with that in mind, 1589 JSBs, five shots at 1.1 inches. So just over that, we're in the ballpark. And these are cruising around right around 665 to 670 or so. That's about 15 and a half, 16 foot pounds. So not bad from a power perspective, um, but accuracy, we could do a little bit better. So moving on up to those heavier 1813s, we got a, a much tighter tighter five shot group there, uh, just under an inch, so like 0.95 is what I measured it at. Um, so with those 1813s, you're looking at right around 600 feet a second, maybe just a hair over. So around 14 and a half to just under 15 foot pounds. Uh, overall accuracy is solid out of the Omnia ZRS. Your mileage may vary as it does with brake barrels quite often. Um, but just because it is a recoilless Springer doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have to do the normal things. You have to play with different holds, different bag setups, however you're shooting it. You have to make sure your screws are tight. All of those things still come into play because at the end of the day, we're still dealing with a brake barrel gas piston power plant. Let's wrap up the Omnia ZRS here in 22 caliber. Now, accuracy wise, one inch groups at 45 yards out of any spring piston or gas piston gun is certainly not bad. I was hoping for better, uh, maybe with more time, more shots through this gun, we'll put about 500, you know, so we're past that break in point, but maybe with a little better familiarity over time, uh, could have done better with it. Maybe your mileage will vary as well. Uh, and of course, this is the 22, the 177 may perform a little bit differently, but around 15, 16 foot pounds of output power at the max there uh, in our testing. This thing's certainly not bad. Uh, it does have a relatively high price point, but I think you're getting a very unique and cool system uh, that if you're new to spring guns, gas piston guns, you're gonna benefit from as a shooter, or if you're looking to get rid of the hassle of hold sensitivity, there's always gonna be a little bit there, uh, but this thing takes out the vast majority of it. And for that alone, it's got a great value uh, and is going to have a nice place in the market, in my opinion. Uh, one you should absolutely check out next time you're cruising around pyramidair.com. For me, I'm looking for this in some other kind of stock configuration in the future. If they can integrate this system into a wood stock, I think they are going to have a huge hit on their hands. Uh, but we will see if that comes to fruition. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We appreciate you watching, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you.